Hi guys, welcome back to another GGF video and today we'll be going over this little project that I've been working on with Western Digital. Now WD Australia reached out to me in regards to their new SN550 Blue NVMe SSDs. Now they've also teamed up with APC, which is the Australian PC magazine here in Australia, of course. So what they reached out for me to do is to create a powerful uh, high-end editing system to be given away uh, to their readers for their magazine. Now, I will run through how to enter this competition a little bit later on. First of all, I wanna go over the specs, but I will say this is only for Australian residents who can win this PC. So yeah, basically WD reached out. Uh, all the parts, everything in here is subjected to me. I reached out and grabbed all these components bar the uh, WD Blue SN550 uh, NVMe SSDs. They were the requirement as this project is to promote these new SSDs from uh, WD. So of course, the first specs of this system are two, not one, but two of their one terabyte SN550. These are very, very nice little drives and they are up to 2400 megabytes read and they will go nicely in this system. So apart from these, everything else was up to me to choose. So I kind of sort of went to town on choosing gear that would benefit not just a high-end editing system, but more a all-round system because I didn't want to spec it out completely for dedicated editing system because sometimes in your free time, you might want to do some gaming, you might want to do something different. And that's why there's things like uh, extra storage, uh, a decent CPU that can be done for gaming and editing, and also things like an RTX 2080 Super as well for a bit of gaming on the side. And moving down to some more specs, there are four WD 6 terabyte black hard drives. So they are in the front here. So for editing, I always like my fast storage, but I also like dedicated bulk storage as well. And for my, my own home systems, I keep that for redundant storage for my editing work once I'm finished with it. Now CPU of course is an AMD Ryzen 3900X. This is a beast, this is a 12 core, 24 thread. And that'll go nicely in a system uh, like this. Now for motherboard, I had a few options, but when it comes to editing, I've gone with the ASRock X570 Creator. This has a host of features. It's got the Thunderbolt uh, 3, and it's got the 10, the 10 gigabit uh, networking as well. So that'll keep, um, that'll keep you going. And it's got plenty of the NVMe storage slots. So I've got two populated in that with these drives as well. And moving on to memory. Now this was a bit of a tough one. I could have gone with 32 gig or 64 gig. Most people think straight away editing, I would have gone with 64 gig, but I've actually gone with 32 gigabytes of G-Skill. Uh, this is their Trident Z, uh, just their standard Trident Z, but I made sure I stuck to the 3600 megahertz and that's what you want with a CPU like this. Now I didn't go with 64 because I feel that a lot of the editing programs don't utilize as much memory as you think. It's only specific programs and I kind of thought most readers or whoever wins the system isn't going to utilize all that memory. So I thought I'll drop the memory down and I'll throw something else in uh, that could benefit for other areas like the slightly better CPU or the slightly better video card instead. Now moving down to the video card, I mentioned that before, that is a Zotac RTX 2080 Super Amp Extreme. This is a beast of a card, and you can see how long it is. It actually goes into this hard drive area over here. That has a heap of RGB, and as you saw at the start, this whole system has plenty of RGB, and this is all configurable as well, so I don't think you have to have all that rainbow uh, style going on everywhere. You can change it to all white, you can change it to anything you like, or you can turn it off if you wish. Now moving on to the last three components, we've got the chassis, the power supply, and then also the all-in-one cooler. Now, these are all from Fractal Design. I thought I'd stick to Fractal Design. We all know their Divine series. They've been doing this for years. It's been a very, very, uh, very, very all-round, good all-round case for them. And I've gone with the uh, Define 7. This is their latest one. I haven't gone with the XL. This is their standard one. I didn't think we needed to go that crazy because this isn't custom water-cooled. It just has an all-in-one cooler. And of course, I've gone with the white. The main reason why I wanted to go with uh, this style of chassis is we have plenty of room for storage at the front and those drive bays are included enough to fit this many hard drives in. Now going with the power supply, currently see it down here. This is the Fractal Design Ion 86, uh, sorry, 860 Platinum. So this is 860 watts, it's platinum rated, so that'll keep you going in case, say, the winner wants to upgrade the video card later on or add a second video card or so on, it's got plenty of power. And of course, I've got the Cable Mod Pro. Uh, these are the white sleeve cables and they just match the rest of the build nicely. And that's what the white cable comes on as well. And then lastly, we have the Fractal Design Celsius. This is the S360 Prisma. This is a 360 millimeter all-in-one cooler and you can't really see it. It's at the front here, so that's just sucking in fresh air to keep that cool. And that has plenty of RGB 
on as well and that'll be keeping this CPU nice and cool. Now I don't really want to go too much into uh, how I came about these parts, why I chose these parts because I did write up the whole article uh, that can be seen in the APC magazine that was released today. Today's uh, Monday July 13th. So that is in there. You can read about it all. It should be a, a couple of pages. I'm not sure exactly. I just wrote the article. I took the photos, uh, shot it off to the guys and they will throw it in the magazine as well as how to enter this competition. Now I do believe you don't have to purchase the magazine to enter the uh, competition to win this. Um, they do say it helps. There are two questions uh, to answer. Uh, I think one's about what would you use this system for or how would you use it and then the second one is more related to uh, the magazine itself. So if I was you, I would pick up the magazine uh, and anyway for what it's worth You can win the system. I think this has been valued at over six thousand dollars So it is a beast of a system. So to get the upper hand I would definitely pick up the magazine, but you can uh, head to the APC uh, Website and it will be on there on how to enter and win this system But um, yeah, just a short one here. I didn't want to go into too much of it. Just wanted to do a video uh, shout out for uh, WD for uh, Reaching out to me for for this project or was like doing these fun little projects on the side instead of just always the standard uh, case reviews, the time that's build, it's good to do something different and especially sort of contribute to these magazines as well. But yeah, just want to thank WD and APC for giving me the chance. Um, good luck to you guys and whoever wins this, hope they can put it to some good use and thanks for watching.